Right, folks. That's how we start these videos, isn't it, June? It is indeed. It, it is seems indeed. Eh? Hey? Seems to be. Seems to be. Um, I, the other day, I did the. Uh, I've been. I, I did the spam burger, didn't I? The spam and Oreo burger. And um, and then I thought, I tell you what, let's have a look at the other what other burgers there are around the world, uh, mainly in China, because they just seem to eat any kind of weird burger. Um, that, and so the other day I did the, uh, it was a Big Mac with mashed potato on it. And what did you think, June? I thought it was pretty good. I didn't like the actual burger, but the actual combination, perhaps a little less mash than you put on, but that's just you all over. Um, yeah, I thought that it, it went quite well. Went quite well. So, what? And then I sat there and I thought, do you know what, folks? I'll have a go at my own because I said I put a stupid challenge out really to McDonald's to. I could in, I could think of something that better than they do, and I and I think I could. I think I could honestly think of better burgers, uh, more outlandish. Is that the word? Oh, a bit more adventurous. A bit more adventurous. You know what I mean? Let's. You know. The, I've been reading all these other kind of um, burgers that they've been having out uh, in China and Japan and and I thought well I could think of some of them so anyway what I've done folks I've actually sat down and I'm going to make my own burger and I'm calling this episode or these videos of this um, if I worked at McDonald's range what do you think to that as a title June? Oh, very, good. very good you see very good uh, that's a tick in the margin. Uh, <coughs> one of the wrong way. So yeah, so this is going to be called If I Worked at McDonald's Range. Um, so what it is folks, I'm going to make a burger. I've been to Costi Cutters in Salve. Uh, got four of their burgers. Uh, I've got some of their bacon, right? Uh, I have bought some of Warburton's Sliced Brioche Burger Buns. I have bought some Co-op 10 Cheese Singles. Do you think they'll ever get married? <laughs> I do. Um, I have bought some pickled gherkins. Ginger will like them. She'll eat them fuckers. Weird kid. Um, I've got some tomatoes. I've got some lettuce in the um, cold box thing. Fridge. And, and then I'm going to just try and experiment with things, right? I'm just going to try and do different things to them. Um, I'm going to put on it this. For the visually impaired, I'm lifting a bottle up. And it's not whiskey. Yes, folks. I will be putting on Nestle's Carnation Caramel Drizzle. Uh, it's delicious on pancakes, desserts and berries. Uh, I don't know if they mean Mary Berry, but there you go. Uh, but I am going to drizzle this on a burger. And I'm going to call this the caramel, the car what am I going to call it? The caramel drizzle burger. The caramel drizzle, yeah. That's the nice. caramel drizzle burger. So, McDonald's, if you want this recipe. <laughs> Look at the video. <laughs> no, I've just given the money sign. Uh, Get in touch on the email because once it's out there, it's fucking out there and it's mine. Right, so what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to bugger off over there. I'm going to cook this and I will see you in a second. Right, folks, and welcome back to my, if I work for McDonald's range, burgers, right? Um... So what I've done, folks, is I've cut my bacon. Oh, I ain't even got the fucking bacon out yet, have I? What a knob. Let me get my bacon out. Do you know what? I honestly haven't got a clue how my YouTube channel has fucking lasted so bloody long with the bloody amateurish ways I do. Right, I'll put that back in there for a minute. I'll get that out later. It's June, I'll be moaning. Right, pull me fucking trousers up so you don't want to see my fat gut. No wonder I'm a fat bastard eating this shit. Um, right, folks, so welcome back to my If I Work for McDonald's range of burgers. And where I am going to uh, 
basically do burgers and come up with different ideas to show McDonald's how the job should be done. I'll put my glasses on, I can't see, fuck all. Um, that's it. So what I've done, folks, um, I've been to Cost Cutters in Salby. Uh, I've bought two burgers, which I have cooked. Um, I've done some bacon. Uh, I've cooked my bacon, though, McDonald's. That is the secret to cook the bacon, right? Now what I've done, to be fair to McDonald's, I've not overcooked it, I've left it a little bit, um, you know, I'd rather have it crispier, but that's the way it goes. Uh, so what I'm going to do, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a burger, how I think a burger would, uh, you know, a good burger. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to put a bit of caramelised onion, yeah, lean out, all right, mind I did it this time last time, there you go. Caramelised on that. So, just going to put a bit on the bottom, yeah? Just a nice little smudging. Because, yeah, I've just, just a fucking can. Yeah, that's because I can. Right, bit on that bottom there. Let's put both bottoms there. Alright, so. I'm going to put the camera down so you can see it, not just looking at my fat moon face. Hold on just one second, let me just put this little bit more on. Right, so caramelised onion there. Let's move this down so you can see what I am doing. Right, uh, caramelised onion, as I keep saying, I am going to put a little bit of lettuce on, yeah. I don't know how McDonald's uh, put their lettuce on. Right, bit more lettuce there. Okay, uh, and then McDonald's put their cheese on, don't they? Oh, fuck me, I've got it all stuck. The bloody bacon's gone on top of the cheese. Right, there you go. I'll stick that one on there. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get another bit of cheese out. Well, I'll put it, see ya. Put another bit of cheese on. Another bit of cheese, folks. There we go. Cheese on there. Right. I am then going to put some bacon on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these bits of bacon like that to fit. There we go. And what that leaves me is these bits that I can eat. Mm, 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 mm. Lovely. Now, piece of tomato, piece of tomato, gherkins. Now then, doesn't that look better, folks, than the two bits of gherkin that you get? Gherkin. Oh, I've only got a small bit there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big bit there. Mm, 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 mm. Right, you see that, folks? You see that? So, at the moment, we've got caramelised onion, lettuce, um, cheese, bacon, tomato, and a couple of gherkins. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the burger on the top. Right? One burger. Two burgers. Okay. Now, I'm also going to do this, right, folks. I went to Cost Cutters and I wanted something to add a crunch to the flavour, to the burger. I wanted some crispy onion, right? But, unfortunately, they haven't got none. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these baked crinkly cheddar cheese and onion. So, this is just a... Uh, a stop gap really folks. I've got the idea from um, that kebab place in Loughborough when they did the uh, crunch uh, Dorito kebab burger thing. Um, so I've borrowed that idea. I personally would have had crispy onions on the top. Now this is what it's all about folks. The caramel drizzle here we go. If it ever comes out. 
Now, most people would have put ketchup on there or perhaps a bit of mustard. But no, this is me thinking outside the box, McDonald's, trying different things. And to top it off with a brioche bun. Let me just move that one in a little bit and that'll be the thumbnail. What do you reckon folks? What does that look like? Right, here we go. The proof is in the burger. <sighs> Give it a squash down, squash that pate down, right. I'm gonna eat it the right way because that's how people tell me that I should eat it. So, McDonald's, please. Oh, fuck's sake, can I know, really? Right, let's, uh, let's just tuck in and shut the fuck up. The salt, the bacon, the salt of the bacon worked well with the caramel. The onion works as well. Mm. Do you want a bite, June? June? She can't even use that fucking toilet. Do you want to try a bit, Lover? Joe! Do you want to try a bit? Just change. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry, I was upstairs. I know you were. Talk into that and let me know what you think. Oh, Honest God. opinion. Am I allowed to squash this one? Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <coughs> mm. The salted caramel comes at the end. Yeah, that is really good. It's weird, isn't it? I don't think it's weird. I think that's good. I've got I do salt. like the sweetness with the savour. I think it's. I've got yeah. the sweet onion. I've got the caramelised onion on the bottom and the sweet caramelised um, caramel. Oh, getting the crunch. You eat it upside down though, don't you? No, I bet this right way round. I've put the crunches. The um, I wanted to put crunchy onion on, and not the um, normal onion. Mm. That's really good. It is, isn't it? But to me, that proper burger makes it. Yeah, and I'll tell you what else. Well, you haven't got too much of the, what's it called, caramel drizzle on there. No. It's just a bit. I yeah. think it could take more, yeah. to be quite honest. Very good. Very good. Uh, you've got to save some for gin. She's coming in a bit. All right. Right. Does that mean like four a fucking clock? I don't Don't want the table there, oh god. I thought you did it off camera. Oh, the camera is off. Yeah. Go on. The camera is running, but... Wait till you've chewed it all, and then you get all the flavours. I'm missing half the burger. 
What do you think, James? That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. See, it ain't rocket science, McDonald's. And um, I've not prepped them to say that. If Ginger would say, no, I don't like it, Dad. She's just to be honest. Yeah, she is. Ginger's, <laughs> Ginger, hasn't, Ginger hasn't got a censorship. Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So there you have it, folks. Uh, McDonald's, um, if I worked at McDonald's, range will continue. It's good, isn't it? I will be thinking of other... Are you eating it? No, I'm alright, thanks. I've just, I've just had a bacon sandwich, haven't I? Um, I will be uh, thinking of other things to do. Mmm. If McDonald's would like to get in touch and see if I've got any other ideas, I am more than willing to do them for a price. But I think because it's a proper meat burger, mm. I think that could take more of that caramel drizzle without, yeah. without it affecting. But that, what you just, just a hint at the end, it, yeah. it's really good. You do get the the caramel drizzle right at the end and I don't know why that works like that but it just does and they've got the saltiness of the bacon it's a good quality burger you know what I mean mm. I've got loads and of the ideas buns are good. the buns are good as mm. well aren't they so well to be fair to McDonald's they do use a brioche bun now and again so yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the brioche bun have got a slight sweetness to them, mm. haven't they? Sweetness. 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 Yeah. Well done, that man. I reckon five quid for that. Yeah. Or four, £4.49. I think we ought to set ginger on a burger van. For fuck's sake. Uh, right, thank you, folks. Leave your comments at the um, bottom one. Um, have a go at it. See what you think. Let me know what you think of it. And do you need any more ideas off me? All right, folks, later.